guys, my name is Zig, and welcome back to another Call of Duty World War 2 video. So for today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at the epic variant for the Stan, the Royal School. I'm going to talk about how it looks, how it and its perks perform in multiplayer and zombies, and how its iron sight differs from its base variant iron sight, as well as how to get this variant and is this variant worth it. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the Stan Royal Skull. So I recently got this variant through my recent supply drop opening or my December supply drop opening for World War II. And I started using it for a while and it's pretty good. The visual look of this variant is pretty nice. That gold, white, and black is a really good combo. And I like the whole skull at the side of it because it's called the Royal Skull. Now the Iron Sight doesn't differ from the base variant Iron Sight. So I'm not going to show any pictures from that because there's really no difference. Just the only difference is the Royal Skulls is gold and then the normal stands is just a normal steel type color. But the only way to acquire this variant is through the supply drop systems and not just supply drop systems in general, but the Winter Siege supply drops only as of this video was uploaded. I don't know in the future, they will add these variants into the normal supply drops, but the only way to get these like these variants is through the Winter Siege supply drops only. But don't worry, Winter Siege supply drops are really easy to get, just do contracts, and they're, they're not that expensive in armory credits, so yeah, go for them, and they're really easy. But after you get this variant, is this variant worth using? So first off, multiplayer. In multiplayer, it does have a perk, and it's 10% extra soldier XP. So it is noticeable when you play in a double XP week or weekend, but it isn't noticeable when you are just playing with this variant normally without a double XP boost. But the Sten is a pretty good gun overall. I don't know, sometimes the Sten feels good, and then sometimes it doesn't. I don't know if that's just me, I don't know about you guys, the stand is a good gun or a bad gun, but to me, sometimes the stand is good and sometimes it's bad. But I don't know, these new weapons are really weird and I'm still not used to them, so yeah. But that's pretty much it for the multiplayer side of the Royal Skull, it just performs like a normal stand and it gives you a 10% extra XP boost towards your soldier. Now how does this gun perform in zombies? So in zombies, it has no zombies perk sadly, that's really sad because it's called the Royal Skull. I was suspecting to have like some type of zombies perk because skulls and stuff like that's oriented towards zombies, but you know, whatever. But this gun performs like a normal Sten in zombies. It's actually pretty good in zombies, but it's really hard. I don't know about you guys, but it took me a while to get it. And the only way to get the Sten in zombie is through the mystery box as of this video was uploaded. But after you get this variant, it's actually really satisfying because the Sten is actually really good in zombies. So you'll be going high rounds with this gun. But overall, is this variant worth it? So through looks and performance and perks, I gotta say that this variant isn't worth it. There are way better looking Sten variants, trust me. This variant is nice looking, don't get me wrong, but there's way better variants out there that give you more XP in multiplayer and possibly a zombies perk. But this variant is free, so why not use it if it is your only Sten variant? But if you have another one that is a heroic or has a multiplayer and zombies perk, then use that other than this variant because this variant is just a normal epic variant with 10% more XP in multiplayer. But that was basically pretty much it for this video, guys. If you guys would like to drop a like, it helps me out a ton. And if you need to channel, subscribe for more amazing content because I upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And remember to hit that bell and subscribe button so you don't miss an upload. Also, I will pop a card to the series playlist for about now. It's called Is This Variant Worth It? And I'm almost through with all the multiplayer and zombies perk variants. I just haven't gone through the new guns yet, but stay tuned for that. And I really recommend staying updated with this series because you don't know what variants I will post in there next. And also there could be a variant in there in the Quartermaster collection that you are thinking about getting and I possibly have a video for that and I can tell you if it's worth getting that variant. But again, that was basically pretty much it for this video guys and comment down below what do you think of the Royal Skull? Do you have this variant or do you like how this variant looks or do you think the Sten is good? Either way, just I wanna hear your opinion on the Royal Skull variant or the Sten in general. But I'll see you guys in my next video, so peace guys. Oh,